Okay, making videos a little bit differently today. <coughs> uh, the camera's charging. Um, the uh, the main computer is still down. Um, the main edit suite. So I got my little iPod camera. Um, one. Oops. One. Uh, it's a little sticky now and then. Anyway, that's that. Um, I got a camera similar to this. The, the, these are the old school iPods. And uh, they have a little camera on the back. And there's about uh, six hours worth of um, video capacity in there, memory. So they're really handy to have. I've taken them on, uh, on um, roller coaster rides and, and things like that at amusement parks. Anyway, he starts off with a digression. Um, okay, hold on. Hey folks, it's just me, your friendly neighborhood Walter Shepard. Um, <clears throat> I'm just kind of here relaxing. Um, it's uh, still, uh, still fairly early in the morning. <clears throat> and there's people sleeping upstairs, so I don't want to be too loud. But, um, I was just, uh, I was just praying and just thinking and just pondering. Um, but what kind of video I'd like to make. I've been thinking about this one for a while. I've been praying about this one for a while. Um, and that is a typical day um, for you, um, one of the uh, wise virgins, one of the servants of the Lord. A typical day during the thousand years of peace. <clears throat> um, um, as you know, in the, in the, in the, uh, a timeline of things um, that's that's still a few years away um, right now we're still waiting for the rapture then after the rapture comes um, the seven-year tribulation then after that um, comes the uh, battle at Armageddon and then after that comes a thousand years of peace so you servants of the Lord um, we're only going to be leaving the earth for seven years and um, and even then um, some of the servants of the Lord um, while they're in heaven during the tribulation period, some of the servants of the Lord will uh, get to come back down to earth and uh, perform various duties here and there. So the Lord, uh, uh, I mean, if you think about it, the body of Christ, uh, it, I'm, I'm, I'm sure since the time of Adam and Eve, it has built up to the point where it's over a billion people um, in there. Um, I, 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 I would have no idea how to get, how to even begin to estimate because, uh, because that's up to, uh, to God, our Heavenly Father, and that's up to Jesus as to who gets into heaven and, um, who gets in, and, and, and who gets into the body of Christ. <clears throat> because there are two categories in heaven, um, uh, the citizens of heaven and those who have just been allowed into heaven, um, by God's grace and by God's mercy and His compassion. And because Jesus knows their hearts, so so Jesus knows everybody um, that has lived on the earth, uh, those who um, deserve not to go to hell, the people who are not wicked and and, and, and evil, um, and so those are just the citizens. Um, they're not part of the body of Christ. They're not part of the bride of Christ. So they don't have the same um, uh, um, authority as anyone who has um, dedicated their. Um, their lives to the Lord <clears throat> like you servants of the Lord so um, one of the privileges you'll be getting is um, you'll be getting to come back down to earth um, during the thousand years of peace when Jesus takes over the planet and he starts to rule the planet from from Jerusalem from the East Gate throne room um, the, in, 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 in the walled city um, the whole world's gonna change from that point out um, <clears throat> From, from from Jerusalem outward, um, Eden is going to grow and the planet is going to flourish and the planet is going to be totally amazing. Um, the planet will be able to look after people. Um, the, the, the fruits and vegetables, they'll, 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 they'll grow in abundance. Um, uh, the Old Testament prophets tell us um, that when it comes to harvesting and agriculture and stuff like that, that the new, um, the new growth, the new... Um, the new plants will just begin to bud just as um, the harvest is being taken off from last year's crops. So 
It's just going to just keep growing. There's, there, there, the, the, the planet will be more than able to, by the end of the thousand years of peace, will, will, will be more than able to feed 15 billion people. I mean, that, that's how efficient um, Jesus is going, going to uh, make the, planet global the, the, the planetary global system. And that's how beautiful God is going to restore the earth. Um, he's going to restore Eden to the abundant, um, beautiful, flourishing vegetation planet that it always would have been had there been no sin. <clears throat> and so during that time, um, as the planet grows, um, it'll start off with the uh, uh, 15 or, or with, with the uh, 5,000 remnant survivors. Uh, the people, um, the, the evil people who took the number of the beast during the tribulation period, um, they won't be there during the thousand years of peace. They will all have been wiped out. That, um, that, that corrupted um, nature of mankind where they put um, technology into their bodies and try to prolong their lives and stuff like that. That corrupted perversion of, of, of mankind satanically inspired, mind you, um, will be wiped out. Um, it won't exist during the thousand years of peace. Um, but during the tribulation period, um, as I've mentioned before, um, there will be a remnant of people that live outside the worldly system. They will live outside the ten cities. Um, because during the tribulation period, um, the, the people are, are, are going to be gathered from whatever town and village they are um, on the planet now, and they will be herded into these um, ten walled cities um, scattered throughout the world on each of the continents. But there will be people who want to live outside the system. They don't want to be part of, 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 of the Antichrist and his system. Even though they'll be hunted and even though they have to live out in the wilderness, it'll be tough for them. And that's when some of the servants of the Lord from heaven will come down and help in, in, in certain ways here and there, um, help protect them. Um, because during that, time that, um, uh, during that time of the tribulation, Living outside the city means um, you have to deal with um, life on the planet as it was in the days of Noah. And um, <clears throat> during the tribulation period, um, the one world armies, the one world military soldiers, will be out looking for people. Uh, and, 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 and not only that, because they'll be living in, in, in the days of Noah, there will also be um, demons and, and, and Nephilim and, and dark spirits all over the place. They will become... Um, um, they will become visible to to the human eyes. Um, the, the the gates of hell will be open once Satan takes control of the planet. After the rapture, um, demons will be visible. Um, the Nephilim will be there. Um, dark spirits will be there. You'll be able to see them all over the place. It'll be just like in the days of Noah, um, when 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 such when such things existed. And so the people um, that live outside the ten cities. We'll have to deal with that, and so some servants of the Lord will come down in in in, in protective ways and, and 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 helpful ways and stuff like that. But anyway, for the most part, um, servants of the Lord um, during the tribulation period will be up enjoying um, the, the the stuff of heaven, and then after the tribulation period, um, some of the servants of the Lord will be coming um, back down um, to help during the Battle of Armageddon. Um, they'll be assisting the angel armies, and the angel armies they number in the millions, um, and uh, and and there will be uh, 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 people. Some some servants of the Lord um, will want to get um, their 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 armor on. Um, some of the some of the dreams and visions I've had about that, about about some of the armies and um, and 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 the stuff uh, during during that that final battle at, at, at Armageddon is amazing there are all, all, all kinds of horses and all kinds of angels of different sizes with 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 all kinds of weaponry and stuff like that but eventually um, the Antichrist armies um, that will be gathered in in um, in Israel in the valley of Har Megiddo or the Battle of Armageddon um, that's the they're, they're, they're about um, 200 million strong, I think the Bible says in the book of Revelation. So it's not that big an army, but it's still it's still fairly big. Um, but uh, yeah, during the Battle of Armageddon, it's not only um, the evil Antichrist armies. It's not just human armies that are being destroyed, 
but um, the angelic uh, the the angelic armies of heaven they'll be coming down to destroy all the Nephilim and all the demons and all the fallen angels and all the dark spirits they'll all be gathered up as well too so there's not only going to be a battle on a human level um, in, in, in in the valley of Harmageddon but there's also going to be a, a, a tremendous battle in the in 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 the heavens as all the dark spirits um, uh, are, are, are gathered up so they won't be there during the thousand years of peace so it'll be quite an amazing battle um, but it will eventually end and then and then God um, as I've mentioned before um, is going to um, reshape the planet as well um, and, and all the continents will be as one there'll be um, one large body of, of water instead of instead of two oceans there'll be more land than there is water but there will still be water. It will be distributed around the planet so that um, it feeds absolutely every particular kind of landscape that the earth has. Um, and um, <clears throat> the people that lived outside the ten cities, um, those, th those human beings that did not take the number of the beast, they will be the remnant of survivors um, whose um, bloodline will grow during the, during the thousand years of peace. Um, during that time, during, during the millennium, um, the conditions of the earth won't be perfect yet. Compared to what it is now, um, it'll be perfect. But compared to um, um, all of creation, um, the time during the millennium will not be considered uh, perfect yet because um, there's still a touch of, 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 of sin there. Um, that time during the thousand years of peace um, will only be considered good. <clears throat> it'll only be made perfect um, after the thousand years of peace, when God comes in and again recreates a um, new heaven and, and new earth, then everything that sin has touched will be completely destroyed so that God can actually live on the planet earth because the earth then, after the thousand years of peace, will be totally sin free. So God is able to, uh, to exist here. Um, um, I've heard people talk about um, the, the, the presence of God and how it he is such an immense, huge, um, all-powerful, all-knowing thing that it's it's really scary to be in his presence. And if you read the book or or, or the books of Enoch, the book of I and about uh, uh, Enoch and 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 and, and, and what he describes um, in those in those different realms in those different heavenlies, um, you can see you you get a really amazing picture of how how much God should be um, feared and respected as well. Um, and he's not to be taken lightly um, because he is pretty serious. But at the same time, he's loving too. Um, and again, um, but he is, he, he is totally uh, to be respected. And, and, and sin cannot exist in, in, in his presence. Um, if anything sinful were to approach it, um, that, that, that sinful thing, whatever it is, um, would, just, would just burn up instantly. Sin cannot exist in his presence. Um, so there's absolutely no wrongdoing in him. He's, he's just all loving, all knowing, all, 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 all everything. He's, he's ineffable. Um, there aren't any words to describe um, the immensity and the power of God. <clears throat> and so that presence of God, if he were to touch the earth right now, um, because the earth is so stained with sin, um, if, 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 if God himself were to touch the earth right now, the earth would just burn up instantly because it is so sinful and sin cannot exist in his presence. And so during, during the time of the thousand years of peace, you servants of the Lord will be helping um, that one speck of sin that will exist that keeps the earth from being good. Because during the thousand years of peace, it will just be good because um, the remnant of survivors, they will still have the flesh and blood like we have now. And they will still have free will to do right or wrong. And um, they can still choose good or bad. But because you servants of the Lord have, 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 have lived the life of a human being and you've, you've learned from your mistakes and you've grown and, and you've learned from the Lord, you will make the good uh, mentors and the good leaders and the good um, mayors and the good councilmen and the good people that will rule and reign during the thousand years of peace as the flesh and blood people grow, as that population grows, because those people are still going to be, um, they're, they're still going to be able to choose right or wrong, um, because they will still have that capacity. But because you're there leading and guiding, 
um, people in that society, as the population grows, they will tend more to do what is right and less to do what is wrong. And so during, during the thousand years of peace, um, you will not, not only be a guide for the flesh and blood population, but um, uh, you, can, you can take a break from that too and just uh, go off and do what you want. Uh, um, being, being a guide to the flesh and blood uh, people uh, will just be part of your duties um, during the thousand years of peace. Um, and uh, when, when you're not doing your duty, however long that may be, may, maybe it'll be a typical 40-hour week and then, and then the other times um, you're off doing whatever you want. Because um, when you get your raptured, regenerated, rejuvenated body, you will not need to sleep. So, so you can stay awake um, for the entire time. So um, going through an eight-hour day, um, guiding the people around you um, in, 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 in their daily activities um, will just be part of it. Once, once that is done, it's not like the end of a day with our physical bodies now. You're not going to go home and you're not going to be tired. Um, you will never, ever, ever get tired. So you could stay awake for six, six days in a row and, and, and never grow tired. You could stay awake for an entire year and never get tired. <clears throat> so your duties will not be drudgery. There will not be toilsome. You will enjoy helping the people around you. Um, so there will be enjoyment in that. And then... Um, um, you can take a break with your family when that is done, and you guys can go off on some holiday somewhere um, around the Earth or even somewhere in the solar system or even somewhere in the universe because you will have um, your regenerated bodies and, and um, you, will be, uh, you will have total control over nature. <laughs> you can go take a picnic on Jupiter or, or some distant galaxy somewhere. Um, as a child of God, there's absolutely no limit. We are inheriting the universe. Um, the Bible tells us that uh, we, we, we own everything right now, but we haven't taken possession of it. During the thousand years of peace, we will be taking possession of the earth. So the earth will be ours. Um, we have shown that we can be responsible with it in the here and now, before the rapture. Um, you know, people still show that they're going to litter and they don't care about the planet. But you servants of the Lord are showing that you can be respectful of the world around you. And so that, that responsibility will be increased with your in, in, inheriting um, the entire planet and the entire solar system and the entire galaxy and the entire universe and everything else out there in creation um, has been given to you by your Heavenly Father. <clears throat> and the only thing you have to do is be the best servant of the Lord you can be in the here and now. And, um, and, 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 and those blessings will just keep coming. I, during, during the thousand years of peace, um, uh, some of the things that I've seen, um, a, 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 a typical day, there, there, there's, there's no drudgery. Everything that has been invented will be invented for, um, for the benefit and for the leisure of, of people. Um, if I can put it like this. Um, during the thousand years of peace, you with your regenerated bodies, you will be able to fly here and there. You can, you, you, you can lift off the ground. You can create portals. You can think yourself um, from one part of the planet to another part of the planet. You, can, you have control over nature. Um, you, can, uh, you can walk on water. You can do everything that Jesus did and more, the Bible says. Um, you will be able to do a lot more than what um, Jesus said. And, and the Bible also tells us that Jesus did a lot more. And, and, and if all those things were written down, the world wouldn't have enough room for the books that were written. And that was just the stuff that Jesus did while he was here on the planet for those, for those 33 years. Um, and, and, and when we get to heaven, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to see exactly what more that he did that um, is not written in the Bible. And even so, you'll be able to do even more than that. And you'll be able to take your unique you-ness and create even more things. And, 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 and do even more things. And discover even more things. Um, I don't know how to, how, how to describe it. Because um, as, 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 as a servant of the Lord, um, you, you, you're, 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 you're one with the ones who created um, the, the heavens and uh, heavens and the earth. Um, I'm trying to get a, a, a train of thought. 
Um, okay, let's say a um, typical day during the thousand years of peace. Um, let's just say the night before, um, you decided um, to go to sleep. So you're in your dwelling place somewhere on the planet Earth during the thousand years of peace in the year 500. We'll just say it's the it, it's the middle of the it's 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 the middle of the thousand years of peace. So you're in your dwelling place on the Earth, wherever it is. You decided to go to sleep, so you're you're lying on your bed. Um, but during your sleep state, um, you had joined a, a number of other believers, a number of other servants of the Lord, and you guys were playing um, a chase game, a chase game that took place um, on the far reaches outside the universe, um, where uh, where where you guys were doing absolutely whatever. So an amazing kind of game you guys were playing in the dream realm. And so it comes time for the morning. Um, you leave the game and you wake up in your body, your, your raptured, regenerated body. And your, ra ra your raptured, regenerated body has the ability to, um, to, 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 uh, to turn on or off um, the heavenly glow. So your raptured, regenerated body, you will have a heavenly glow to you when you get your, 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 your raptured, regenerated body. But during the thousand years of peace, when you're existing back here down on earth, you can take off that glow and just look like another ordinary human being. Or, 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 or you can put on your natural, um, uh, godly, given um, glory that has come um, in the likeness of Jesus. So again, um, when you start off your day, um, you can start off in, in, in one or two ways, um, in, in, in one or two appearances. Um, and then for breakfast, um, you won't need to eat, but uh, you can still enjoy um, the taste of a fine breakfast if you wanted to. Um, and so after breakfast, um, it's time to uh, go to um, your assigned post, where, wherever it is um, during the thousand years of peace. So let's say um, let's say you're living outside the city, and so you, as a raptured, uh, regenerated servant of the Lord, you can choose to either think yourself to work, and you're there instantly, or um, or or you can take a vehicle there, and um, because you've always enjoyed driving, um, you have a choice. You can take an air vehicle, a number of different kinds of air vehicles. Um, you, you can take a jetpack if you want. Um, you can take a kind of helicopter kind of unit, or you can take an airplane kind of unit, um, or you can take um, a, 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 a surface um, um, vehicle, uh, one that has wheels, or one that floats on a magnetic surface, or one that floats on air, or or whatever. There will be any number of choices for you to get around um, as any any other human being on the face of the earth um, during that, that thousand years of peace. Because we'll be inventing things like that to make life easier for the people who can't think themselves around, for people who can't fly around here and there, for people who can't control the forces of nature. Again, we're serving mankind but on a different level. We're serving them to make their life easier and, and, and more fun, to make sure that they live in a society where they get to do things with their hands and feet on, 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 on a 40-hour basis or whatever the work week is, where, where, where they get to do that, but they get to enjoy their work. There's no drudgery. There's no toil. There's no stress. People, in, uh, people get to uh, work in a field because they want to work there. They've always enjoyed that uh, that, that field of operation. They've always enjoyed that industry. That they, they, They've always joined and enjoyed doing doing this or that. So you servants of the Lord will be helping the people find out where where, where, where they want to go and just and just guiding them. And you servants of the Lord will be setting up all kinds of um, 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 what we would term as, as businesses or industries. Some people want to run hotels. Some people want to uh, build factories. Some people want to make machines. Some people just want to explore. So whatever it is the Lord has called you to do during the thousand years of peace, you'll be doing that as well on, 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 on a capacity where people can enjoy whatever skills you're bringing to the benefit of the world while also helping out the world. <clears throat> and there's... Um, so much more, but um, I, I, I think I, I, I think I will leave it there because um, with this new form of recording, um, I can't see the camera. There's no playback, so <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm just, I'm just blathering on, um, or, um, or I'm actually recording anything. 
So anyhow, um, that's it. So during the thousand years of peace, um, there's going to be so much more to do, and it'll be so it, it, it'll be that much more pleasurable um, because there won't be any crime, um, there won't be any 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 murder or perversion or corruption or anything negative that we have in this world now will not exist, and we won't be bringing it over. And um, we servants of the Lord, as we're guiding the, the population as they grow, we're going to make sure that such things um, don't develop, that people put their mind on better things rather than on those more corrupt things. Um, so um, anyway, um, I will leave it at that. The next kind of um, uh, rapture millennium chat I have um, will uh, be about what happens at the end of the thousand years of peace, because that will be a test of the human nature of those people um, that have uh, grown up during the thousand years of peace that uh, still have the capacity to choose right or wrong. You servants of the Lord will not um, be tempted by Satan at all when he's released at the end of a thousand years of peace. But the, re but, uh, the families of the remnant of survivors of Armageddon with the, uh, with the flesh and blood like we have now, um, they can still be tempted. So um, what happens at the end of the thousand years of peace um, gets a little tricky, gets a little fun, gets a little scary. But in the end, um, God is still in control, so everything always works out. Um, and that is because during the thousand years of peace, Jesus will be ruling, just as he is ruling now. He's just doing it from heaven. Through you, servants of the Lord. Jesus is ruling here on earth through you, willing servants of the Lord. So uh, um, so keep it up. Uh, keep reading your Bible. Um, uh, keep praying. Um, and I guess that's about it. Uh, we'll see you at the Eastgate meetup. Uh, so take care. Stay in prayer. We'll see you in Jesus' kingdom somewhere over there or maybe even somewhere up in the air. Alrighty, um, I love you guys. Remember, Jesus rules.